everyone. Welcome to another episode of Deliberations with Sonia, and I'm your girl, Sonia. And I just wanted to put a little something on your mind this time, just, just a little bit. This is going to be a very short video because I am in Nevada and I'm ending my retreat, which I graduated today. Yay, me. Um, however, this has been a very interesting yet rewarding experience. And in the issues of politics, you know, being here with 20 plus other veterans <laughs> of all kinds of political and economic differences from all over different countries, well, all over the United States, and many of whom were born to military parents in other countries, you know. Um, I've just been taken aback with this whole election year. I mean, and to say <laughs> that we have not had to deal with it here is an understatement. But I digress. The point is this. We got Trump and we got Biden. And I have just been nerve wreck to understand why there are people on the Republican side of the fence who are just so angry. I mean, they're just mad at everything. Everybody. Mad at women. They don't like women. Mad at black people. Mad at the Mexican people. Mad at the Latinas all together. Mad at the Muslims. Mad at the Jew. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> they just fucking mad, man. <sighs> I mean, and, and and you cannot talk to some of these people. And I know because I've been in Nevada for about two months, and I've been trying. Uncle Jojo spoke today at the NAACP, and I was like, "Yay, go, Uncle Jojo!" I don't care if he kicks the Bucket on election day. Okay? I don't care. I was just not voting for Trump. I don't, am I crazy? This is the question I'm posing to y'all. Am I just overdoing it? Am I just making too much of this? I read all of the 2025 plan. When I tell you, I mean, that is people in America, in these United States of America, that would abolish the Department of Education because you don't like what they teach. You're going to tell people they got to have a baby and when they got to have the baby and how they got to have the baby and how they, you know, come on. You are not going to stop the trajectory of population doing that. It is what it is. Okay? We are a mixed race nation, always have been, always will be. Period. It's just too much sometimes. And it gets into a very negative space of, of judging others and, and deservedly so, you know, some people are just assholes for being assholes and then some people are racist and xenophobic and anti-everything and you got to think about that young man who got up on that roof and took that shot at trump i <laughs> mean miss but anyway that's not the point the point is this hatred it's such a strong emotion. And 
in it and you can't control hatred. Hatred is fire, a fire burning, and you can't control it. And once it starts, it just goes and goes and goes until thousands and probably even millions of people are dead. So I'm 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 gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna have to leave it right here for a second. Because the one thing I just really want to be able to understand am I wrong for being so adamant about bringing people to this issue? Because I'm gonna tell you. These people want me to do other things on my channel and not be so political, you know, because, you know, as long as I stick to the love and relationship and spiritual awakening videos, I just grow like a flower. Ouch. <laughs> and sometimes my political videos be like, YouTube algorithm be like, we got a real that one back, sister. We got a real that one back. Uh, you know. And you can't blame me for that because people are here shooting at each other. What the fuck? <sighs> and you know something funny? Okay, because like me and some of my Republican veterans that I've been in the program with, yeah, we done had some issues and some shouting matches. Over changing channels. <laughs> I'll be like, but I'll see anybody. We're watching Fox. Fuck Fox. <laughs> I'll go in there and get the remote control first and put it on CNN. <laughs> and they, they take their food to their room. Like, <laughs> but something that was said, um, you know, I've. I've I'm real silly, you know. And I just sometimes do stuff just to be like, how far they gonna go with this? <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, quite a few people apologize and say, oh, I'm sorry, I was being a butt. And then I apologize. Because I was like, you know, I was being a butt. And, and I said to, you know, one of my fellow veterans, we say the creed every morning, right before we stand and salute the flag and say the pledge. And the bottom line is, I be fighting, dogging with y'all over CNN and Fox all day and all night. But you know what? If that siren warning, what we gonna do? And that's a report. I'm like, yeah. But I don't think the rest of America feel like that. I mean, we fight in here like brothers and sisters. It's a little crazy. But I know they love me. And I love them. And they know we got each other's back, even though they're assholes. <laughs> but I've made lifelong friends here. And although our politics differ, I feel strong and the knowledge that if I made a call for help, that these folks, some of them would show up. And they eventually start watching CNN. And I did watch some Fox. But the point is, I never thought somebody would try to shoot Trump in the head. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I did think that that would happen. <laughs> um, but I guess I didn't get where it would, you know, bring out the callousness in me. You know? And I'm not even that kind of person. <laughs> but sometimes you have to ask yourself, 
how much does the environment of racism, the environment of hate, we've been here on a rejuvenation and reclamation uh, transformation journey. <laughs> and in doing that, the number one thing that teetered us off left and right was politics. <sighs> we have to do better. This is the United States of America. And I believe that we are not a racist country. But I do believe there are racists in this country. And I do believe that the current state of political affairs and the sycophants including up to including Donald Trump placate placate to these races with all this talk of let's go be a civil war blah 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 get the fuck out. I ain't nobody doing none of that shit. You think people gonna miss their summer vacation fucking around trying to have a civil war? Give me a fucking bird, okay? No. Okay. Ain't nobody trying to have their rental properties destroyed and all that other kind of shit. Just, I mean, I want y'all to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I want you to put down in the comments, should we be worried? Or should we be worried? That's what I want to know. I want to know how many people are like me, regardless of your candidate. You're like, we're better than this. I don't want to hear no negative, oh, the Republicans, oh, the Democrats. Are we fucking better than this or not? Because if we're not, what in the hell are we doing? Like, share, subscribe. Put some down in the comments. Vote on yes or no. And then deliberate about it. Have a good one.